Hey there. Well, the boy and I are going to build the go kart. It's been a, a long and busy week, and I haven't gotten to spend much time with the family. And he came down here with me tonight, and I held this. I held this piece, but he held the the the, the welder, and he he welded that on himself. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, we picked up this fine Predator go-kart motor and uh, that's about all the go-kart pieces we have <laughs> I, I need to do a steel run it just means taking the truck into work one day there's a great steel place not too far away uh, but I'm, I'm shy on uh, uh, a bunch of go-kart parts so I, I need to figure out whether I'm gonna do the big splash on uh, the go power sports uh, ultimate package or what I'm going to do there, go piecemeal. Um, I'd like to go with one of the packages, but uh, I want top of the line everything, so <laughs> it's, it's a little more than I want to spend at this point, so we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But one thing I can do is I can continue learning uh, how to weld. So we got this motor. I'd like to run it. I'd like to break it in a little better, but uh, the base on it is uh, pretty small. And uh, it's kind of wobbly, so I'm gonna take a little bit of this scrap steel I have here, and I'm put together a little base for this thing. I don't have any bolts right now, so the best I can do is come up with a, a base to set it on. But uh, you know, that's only you know, bolts aren't too far away. Uh, this is gonna be a bunch of different sections. This video it'll probably have to be edited up just to get different angles for the different tools we'll be using. Uh, all right, cool. So I guess. I'm going to start measuring this out and uh, get to work uh, doing a few cuts with the uh, chop saw and then we'll uh, do some grinding and finally weld it together and uh, gosh I'm not sure I have to figure out whether to uh, drill first or weld first uh, not quite sure been a long uh, long tough week and I'm a little tired now but uh, yeah so I can turn the camera off and go to bed and come back and you'll never know. Uh, so, out of the steel supply, I picked up, or I've got some of this, uh, not a lot, but I've got some of this 1x1 one one, uh, 11 gauge, which is uh, an eighth of an inch. And it, this is going to be primarily which, what we use in the go-kart, so uh, I'm just trying to weld as much as possible with this stuff, or on this stuff, just to get familiar with it. Uh, this piece, what I think I'm going to do here is just cut it in half, and it's about 18 inches, and I'm just going to chop it in half. And that's going to run under the, those two halves will run under the motor that way. And then these slightly bigger pieces that I have, um, you know, I'd like it to go at least like that. There's, there's not going to be much to save. I'll probably just lop off a couple inches uh, on, on, on these, keeping the same length. and Stack it up, weld it, drill it. Um, Yeehaw! All right, well, we uh, change camera angle and we'll get the saw set up. And, you know, I'm new to this. This is all brand new for me. And I've seen videos on how to cut metal, what to use to cut metal. Um, I got a fairly decent DeWalt uh, wood chop saw sitting behind the camera there. And initially I was just going to get a metal cutting blade and throw it on there, but uh, the interwebs told me that was a real bad idea. So I picked up... Uh, a DeWalt uh, chop saw. I'm not quite sure which store I got it at, but it was around 200 bucks. Um, retrospect, would I do it again? It cuts stuff, and you know, it'll make big pieces smaller, uh, but it's not accurate. Uh, you know that that I suppose I could get a better blade for it, but that that blade that's in it, the abrasive disc, just flexes all over the place. Uh, seen some. Uh, some of those smaller, almost handheld band saws uh, at a, a Harbor Freight, and we, when the boy and I bought this motor, Harbor Freight had had uh, one. It was just a little more than what that would have been, and uh, I don't know if that's in my future. Um, I do realize the irony here. I, I, I get it, uh, <laughs> but you know, show me a show me a United States built motor uh, to buy, and I will. Um, United States manufactured motor. I'll go for it. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, 
The uh, I've seen folks chopping with the. Uh, I'm looking over here because the tool is sitting over there. <laughs> I've seen seen po folks chopping with the uh, uh, angle grinder, and that's a new enough tool to me that uh, I don't think I'm that accurate with it, and it's a little uh, a little hair raising. But uh, you know the chops. I guess it works. We'll we'll see what's in our future. At least we can cut make we can make big pieces smaller now and put them back together.